Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to pull the cluster out of a 98 Acura CL. I believe it should be the same for 97 to 99. Um, this is a manual one. I'm not sure if the automatics are any different. I can't imagine they are, but, you know, just putting that out there so you know this is a manual one. Um, first thing is going to be two screws up here. You know, they're pretty visible. And the other ones aren't so visible. They're actually behind each switch, behind that cruise switch and the dimmer switch. And you can see a little indentation on the bottom of the switch and that's where you'll put in like your um, pry tool there and pop it in and then it'll just kind of pop out same thing on the other side Okay, and I got the switches popped out, and you'll see there's just little tabs right there to pop the switch off, and then, yeah, it just pops off, and same thing on this side, this side on my car is very tight, so, you know, it's kind of, going to be kind of a pain to get back in, but, you know, obviously it'll be doable since, you know, it's made that way, so, yep. Okay, so here you can see the, I got the switches out, and there's a screw behind each one, so, you know, you'll need a somewhat longer of a screwdriver, it's a little tricky to get in there because of the switches and stuff but it's obviously definitely doable okay and then you can see at this point i got the black shroud out here there was just you know the two screws up there and then behind each switch there there was a phillips screw also and then now what i'm going to do is pull off pull out the cluster it looks like two up top and then two on the bottom and it should just pull right out let's see okay you can see I'm trying to get the cluster out right now but there are some plugs here in the way so I'm gonna have to unplug those so if there's one two and then a third one back there um, they only plug into one spot they're all separate sizes so no need really to label them or anything but those will have to come out to pull the cluster completely out Okay, so here's the cluster out. Um, it was a little bit difficult to pop out. Looks like now that I see it, I could have popped off these two little metal brackets here. Would have made it easier for pulling it out. They're just held on with one little screw there. Um, but yeah, I had to kind of wiggle it out. Um, it was, wasn't that hard, but you know, it would have been definitely easier if I just popped those off. So I may pop those off to put it back in. But yeah, you can see the cluster is out. So now you can do you know whatever you're going to be doing, um, putting gauges or putting a different cluster in, you know, whatever. Okay, so now we've got to go ahead and put it back together. Um, the reason I did this is just because um, my ABS hasn't worked since I've had the car, and I don't like the light being on, so I popped out the little bulb that's in there for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can a lot of people pull these for gauges, for um, the back, back facing gauges, um, different things. I ideally would have liked to fix mine because it's got the scratch there, but um, I, I wasn't able to find one at a reasonable price, so I just got rid of the ABS um, warning light just because it was annoying, and I've never had ABS on the car since it's, since I've had it.